all the articles now are saying like Bank of Canada is going to start cutting aggressively. We could see a couple of 50 point cuts in the next couple of meetings or a quarter point and then two half points. Well, so let's segue into the new CMHC rules and the new 30 year amortization. And, uh, and, uh, first of all, I'm not totally sure. Is it, is it just on new construction or is this on anything in that price range? 30 year amortization? No, the, the, didn't they do what the hell did they do and uh, they did the increase one and a half million mortgages? dollar cap for the yeah. insured mortgage yeah right? so it has to be your principal residence 30 year okay and it can be new or resale it can be a resale so this yeah. sounds like something that i mean people online are saying is a huge blunder and uh i mean because they're they're saying it's the wrong time to get spur on the economy again. I don't know what's going on, but the the U.S. Fed cuts fifty points. We throw this new thing that's supposed to spur on demand again, right? And yep. people are saying that it probably will spur on demand. Um, is I mean, it sounds good to me if we get a whole bunch of demand now, especially while we've got all these options on the market. And and you, I mean, I can't imagine that you and Frank and Leo are a huge anomaly. I, I got to think that other good teams and other good agents are getting a bunch of listings simultaneously, right? I mean, this is why it's yeah. adding up. And then I saw a stat that said like 2,500 sales. Uh, and I think compared to like 8,000 or something, the, 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 the period previous that they were comparing it to, and that's like a crazy drop off in sales. So, so you have been talking about being busy for a couple of weeks now, but it sounds like, you know, you're busy cultivating some listings, but the, the buyers are just not ready to do anything right now. And why would you, when you see all the articles now are saying like bank of Canada is going to start cutting aggressively. We could see a couple of 50 point cuts in the next couple of meetings or a quarter point and then two half points. And you, you have, I think the, the, the economist from Korea or I don't know, some treb, some bullshit organization going 2025, 1 million percent. It's going to be a big year for the real estate market because of all this new demand that's being kind of pushed. So are you have you read up on this? Has your team had big meetings about this whole thing? What's uh, has anything changed? Because everybody's up in arms on Twitter anyways. Well, first of all, I'm not on Twitter for very good reasons. Yeah. Um, second of all, I, uh, I, I think that right now you're probably looking at... Um, a four times factor on income, right? So if you look at somebody who's going to be qualifying for a mortgage and they're going to say, okay, I want to be able to figure out how I'm going to buy. So I can, before I could buy up to 999 because I've got $150,000 down. Okay. So what about that, sounds, that sounds good a, for me. So now I need a $850,000 mortgage, right? So $210,000 a year income. Now let's say I got $200,000 down and I want to get a $1.3 million mortgage now because obviously I can afford it. I have to have $325,000 income clear, no other debt, okay? Then they'll give me that mortgage. I don't have 20% down, but they've they've increased it up to $1.499 now, right? So I got $325,000 mortgage, which I know in previous episodes, I've told the audiences that I think everybody has a lot of money, but I was wrong. Turns out they don't. And uh, at $325,000, you're in the 1% and you have very few people who have that income. Now, if you do have that income, good for you. But why don't you have 20% down? What have you been doing your whole life? Whoa. Like maybe you're some you know, tech kid who just got this great job and you, know, you haven't been able to save money and you want to get the greatest condo ever and you can service that debt and that's great. But the amount of people, if you're already in a 1% income class, so they're, therefore one percent of buyers are in that class, and then you're also in the class of buyers who don't have any other assets to add in, so you don't have twenty percent down. So that would be like another one percent. So like we're talking about the smallest portion of people that would this 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 new increase into the insurable mortgage um, threshold would actually impact. So like, what are we talking about here, guys? It's you an election who, thing. But and you but, know who benefits from it? Do you know who benefits from it? I don't know. The lobbyists of the the builders. The builders want 
to have new homeowners to have 30-year amortization so that they can buy more build, more new builds. Sure. The builders want them to increase the amount that sure. they can get approved for on an insurance mortgage because when they've already got their deposits, which are light, then they say, well, how are we ever going to close on this property because we need to do X, Y, and Z to make it work. And they're finding ways to get these appraisals done, right? Guess what they do? They say, hey, get another family member and get on title with you. And you can get, you can apply for a CMHC insured mortgage. So yeah. it's almost like the builders lobby the government to say, hey guys, we need to increase this, this and that because that's what's going to ben benefit they them. Did for the sure. New, they have uh, been for years. Offices. They have been for years. And what's exactly. happened now is all of a sudden, the government that's in power, that's losing power daily, and it's feeling like you know that they they're it's slipping through their fingers. Have realized, oh shit! Like we better do something because what we're doing now is not working. So let's see if we can help these guys out. That I mean, we're the it's the economy. I mean, look around. If mm. if the construction and real estate businesses are not buzzing everybody is eventually gonna really feel it one way or another hey guys thanks for watching our clips channel why don't you go and check out some more clips we got lots of other good content somewhere over here don't forget to like comment and subscribe boom that was good that was good, that was good. i like that that was good